All right, so the point is that when you get this imported, at this, at this point is where it's, it's easier to just kind of sketch this thing out and get your plan sorted out in 2D before you go to 3D. It's really challenging to, to design and, and even model in, in three dimensions in SketchUp. That's my opinion. Uh, so it's better to just get a plan and then, uh, and then generate the 3D representation. All right, so what I'm gonna do is just start tracing this thing and, and we'll just kind of loosely work off of what we've got here. And so we'll kind of go to this corner and uh, like that. And you can see that like there's, there's not quite enough sides. I'm gonna type 24S enter and that changed that arc to have 24 sides um, I'm gonna move this point back in and kind of snap it to the edge of the house uh, like that and then we'll just kind of draw this straight back and kind of make one complete chunk so that this patio you know it's, it's a little difficult to see working with like the CAD line work but the point is that this is now its own piece of geometry all right next I think I'll just kind of work off of their plan uh, I, I'm gonna um, make we're gonna need to kind of cheat a little bit and scoot this arc out um, and so I'll you know what that's doing is just kind of like arcing from here you know to here like that and then I'm gonna offset just use our offset tool like this. And you can see that it's roughly four feet. So I might just type in four feet. And then we can use our line tool and just draw a line straight back like that and like that. All right, so now our path, uh, let's see, we didn't quite break the surface. So our, our path, kind of generates over to here and you can see it didn't quite connect on that offset. So we'll just kind of make it so, and then you know you just check it, double click. And you can see that this is now a surface. And let's see, how do we want to handle uh, kind of drafting all this stuff? I, I think I can just eyeball it a little bit but like so this edge you know really needs to be like right here like that and so maybe I would just do like a texture position and scoot the whole plan like that and hit enter and now I can trace that one piece you know the way I want to like that like that and then we'll kind of continue on like this and you know, some of these lines are not like linking up exactly the way I would want them to, but I don't think anybody's gonna notice. I, I like it when it turns uh, either cyan or magenta and gives like a nice clean uh, arc. So maybe I'll just kind of take it halfway. It's not gonna matter. We'll go right there like that and then use our line tool and go straight in and where does this actually land? So uh, we need it to come in, you know, kind of like keeps going this way like that. All right, so now you can see that if I double click on this, we have this other chunk and I could use like my arc tool at this point, you know, draw a big arc right here like that. That one's broken up. And then again, use my art tool. And you, you know, I'm just kind of eyeballing this like that. All right, so then there's kind of a planting bed here, here, and here. And we've got our patio, we've got our path. All right, I, I'm, I think we're in pretty good shape there. If you like this video, click the BD button to subscribe to our channel. Every week we post new videos covering SketchUp, Layout, Lumion, and our Condoc Tools extension. If you are a professional architect or interior designer, you're going to love our tutorials.